guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Plex on Ubuntu server. So, first I'm going to open up Putty. Log in as server. Or, I would because that's my login. And I'm going to start with um, installing all these packages. They're just basically just a bunch of codecs and stuff. And I put them into this notepad so I can put them into the description because I don't want to type them all. And because I didn't put the word sudo in it, having a fit so I need to do the command sudo dash i so now I'm root and there we go so now it's gonna install most failed but that's okay Alright, well that's okay, we don't need those things anyways. All that we needed was the stuff that installed. So, now I made another notepad of this. So, we're going to want to go and get this. So I'm going to go to plex.com. Oh, it's plex.tv, but whatever. Computer, Linux, Ubuntu, 64-bit, copy link address, wget. Okay, now that's downloading. So, yeah. ls there's that so now that we've gotten that we're going to want to do dp dpkg i plex media server what that's going to do is it's going to install the uh, dev file so i'll run that command real quick really go there uh, access archive. Blah, 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 blah. There. Now that's going to install. Okay, now we'll be profile next nice review, blah, blah, blah. Echo, deb, http r worlds blah 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 sources, thing. Yeah, by default it runs on port thirty two four hundred. So to access it, if you're using this, you'll have to go to that dot the directory like mine's nine, or you would just have to port forward it and go your IP. So your IP and then port um, whatever that was but that's besides the point I wonder is it working like right now let's 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 just go and check oh that goes to my website um, let's see there late at night so I can't think so I'm dead um let's see okay XML does not appear to have style blah directory 
stuff. Yeah. Okay, well that looks like everything is in the correct thing. So let's go to the var directory and add the echo file, or the thing to the echo file. So. Oh, what am I doing? Echo, Plex, Worlds, CD slash X, Plex Media Server List. Just do that. I keep wanting to do Control V. I don't know why. <laughs> On a directory. What? Whatever. Um, I'll get back to you when I figure this out. Okay, guys, I got it working. It turns out that you don't need um, see this c um, command. And it says, you, or you could just do this, but I just chose to reboot my entire server. So, yeah and it's working now dot one dot nine. okay so now that we've got that made let's go ahead and do the command make dir and we're going to call it movies okay movies now there's a directory called movies. And then we're going to do another make dir. We're going to call it TV. Um, TV. We'll just do that. So now there's two directories. So now what I'm going to do Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some things to that directory. So I'll just go to my intro. And I'm going to open my FTP client, which is FileZilla. I'm going to go to my recent connections, login, and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put this in the movies. And I'm going to put the metro, this metro thing in TV. Don't even remember what that one was. Okay, so now that that's transferred, let's go to, let's go back. I can't remember how to do this. All right, you click the plus, you hit movies, English, add folder, and you'll go slash home, slash server, slash movies. And we'll just add that. So now it'll scan that. And there's the file that I just put into there. So let's go back to the home and we'll add another it's called TV shows add folder slash um, home I think it's capital because my mind's going blank yeah it's not caps server TV Add, add library, and it'll be scanning and stuff. What is this? I honestly don't know where this came from. Oh.
Okay, so that makes sense. It just uh, made my intro the wrong thingamajigger. So, you may be saying, okay, Zach, this is working now and everything, but how do I access this remotely? You know, and then I'll go, well, you got to port forward, and you'll say, well, how do I port forward it? And then you'll either go back to my other videos or you'll just go to your router like this. And you'll log in, and then you'll go to your port forwarding thing on your router. I have a more in-depth tutorial on how to port forward on my channel. I'm not going to put it in the description, because every time that I, I do that in editing, I'm like, ugh, the idiot. But you can only forward what? Oh. I already have flex in here anyways. Edit. And then you'll just do this. And then if you do you don't have a DNS, you'll just make a free one over at no IP. And then you'll just sign into it. Host redirects, and then you can just make an account, do a host redirect. You can add a host. You can call it Plex for life, and then you can just use a free domain, like uh, noip.me. Use my IP. You can just get this. It'll put it in automatically, I believe. And then you can just add the host. Now Plex for Life will be added in one minute. <coughs> so when that's done, yeah. But since this will do the exact same thing, and it's it's a, it won't take a minute. I'm just gonna show you that. So showing the actual domain that I just made. You just do that, and then put in the port so port number and then slash web slash index dot html and there you go now you can access it from remote and you can just sign in with your account name I honestly don't remember any of this oh yeah and you're gonna wanna also add this I'm stupid you would wanna add this server to your um or not add it you would want to go to the web interface right, right here and then click the settings and then server and then you can rename it if you want but you would want to sign in so it's connected to your account so that way you can actually access it from a remote not just over LAN so now if I reload this there see there it is but thanks for watching if you made it this far please rate like subscribe leave a comment and I'll get back to you goodbye